Hello, my first graders. Today, we are working on lesson 9.4. That's page 531 in your math book, 531. So if you're not on page 531 with this big pencil and paper clips, pause the video, find that page and hit play when you're ready. All right, so just like we've been doing for the last few days, we're gonna be looking at measurement. While we're looking at measurement, we're not going to be just looking at um, measuring longer and shorter. We're going to be using another form of non-standard measurement to measure today. So the other day, we looked at using blocks to measure. Okay. Today, we're going to talk about using paper clips to measure. It's another way of measuring using a non-standard unit. That means something that's not a ruler. Remember, rulers are standard because everyone has a ruler. Your ruler might look a little different from mine, but it's spaced out the same. And if you measured something with your ruler and I measured the same thing with my ruler, our answer would be the same. Whereas when we use non-standard tools, sometimes our answers are a little different. So let's take a look at what we have today. We have this pencil. Mateo and Allie measure the same pencil. Mateo says it's about four paper clips long. Allie says it's about three paper clips long. Circle the name of the child who measured correctly. So take a look at Allie. This is how Allie measured using paper clips. This is how Mateo measured using paper clips. Who measured the right way? Hopefully you said Mateo. Mateo measured the right way. Look at Allie. Do you see those big spaces between her paper clips? Should you have big, should there be big spaces in between? No, when we measure, we need to go from one end to the other end. Notice the paper clips, they touch, right? One touches the next. That is how we measure using non-standard tools. We make sure that they're lined up end to end. We did that yesterday when we used the blocks. Remember one block and we said we couldn't space them out. They had to be right next to each other, right? We push them against each other. We start at our start line and then look, they didn't put their stop line in, but you can put a stop line in at the end to know where to stop. And when you measure, they need to be right next to each other. So that is why Mateo was the one who was correct. All right, let's turn to the next page. Okay, today, just like the other day, there's a lot about using paper clips to measure. Now, we, of course, don't all have these things at home. I bet you don't have that desk there at your house, right? Maybe you wouldn't have a chair that looks like this or a bulletin board. So today we are gonna do just like we did the other day. I'm gonna give you time to measure items in your house using a non-standard unit, okay? So remember, non-standard means that we're going to use something that isn't a ruler to measure. Remember, it's not a ruler. And we said, we don't really have these blocks at home. Now, you could be somebody who might have, your, you might have a collection of paper clips at home. Now, if you have that collection of paper clips, you can use it to measure just like they wanted us to do today. Now, I have some paper clips and I just wanna go over with you that if you use, if you go through your house and are measuring whether you use paper clips or something else like I showed you yesterday and I'll go through them, I'll go through them again with you. Take a look. Can I do this when I'm measuring? Okay, I've got my paper clips. Is this okay? Is this an okay to, way to measure? No, what's wrong with what I did? Yeah, this one doesn't really belong, does it? That's a kind of a funny shape, right? That doesn't look like a regular paper clip. But now what about these? Is this okay? No, they're not the same size. Look, these are small paper clips and these are big paper clips. 
I have to choose. Either I measure them all with, they all have to be the same size. So if I'm measuring with paper clips, and I actually have more bigger paper clips, I need to use all the same size. Look at these. Are they all the same size? Yes. When I measure, they have to be the same size. So I need to find something to use to measure with that is the same size. Now, you don't have to use paper clips because you might not have paper clips at home. I have some paper clips, but I might not have enough to do my measuring. Okay, you can use something to measure, but remember, it needs to be the same size. So maybe you have a box of markers, right? And you can use the markers to measure if you're measuring things that are big. Now, when I measure, let me move my book out of the way. When I measure and I use markers to measure, Hmm, can I leave a gap between my markers when I'm measuring? No, they have to be together, okay? One end to the other end, and flip them this way, okay? They have to be in a row, okay? I can measure the size, how big is my paper? Well, it's about one, two, hmm, probably about two markers, that's the closest, right? It's only a teeny bit of this. And I go from one end, I line it up on one end, and then I see where does it stop. Okay, you might not want to use markers. Maybe you have something smaller. Remember, smaller is a little bit easier. So again, we talked about how we can use things like coins, right? But it has to be the same coins. If your mom, if somebody at your house has um, clothespins, you can use clothespins to measure. Maybe they do their wash. These are my Lucky Duck clips. Okay, right, you line them up one end, they're touching each other to say, so my paper is about one, two, three, about four, about four clips long, okay? So you line them up end to end. So maybe you don't have those clothespins. Maybe you can use pennies to measure with, right? Or we talked about mini marshmallows. Okay. I had the little, remember I had the little pieces of gum too, and I said I can use gum. So we said we can use cereal to measure, but the thing about measuring, right, they need to be end to end. We have to start at the beginning of our object. Right? If I want to see, maybe I want to see how many, how many pieces of gum long my clip is, right? Start at the beginning of my object. I match it up to the end, one end. I put them next to each other. Right? And I see about how many pieces of gum is my is my clip long? Well, it's about four pieces of gum long. Okay, so remember, my gum is the same size. So when you're measuring things, you have to use the same size object to go all the way across what you're measuring. All right, so you can pause the video and go explore measuring. When you're finished exploring, hit play and we'll do a little bit more. Okay, pause, have some fun measuring, come back to me when you're ready. All right, my first graders. So hopefully you got a chance to explore. Let me put my book back. Hopefully you had a chance to explore and now I'm going to go over some of the pages that we have in our book that we can do together. So Cody, we're going to skip all of these, right? Because you had some fun measuring in your house. Cody measured his real lunchbox. It is about 10 paper clips long. About how many paper clips long is Cody's real pencil? So they drew us a picture right here, right? They put a picture in. This isn't a real lunchbox, right? That's just a picture. If you had a lunchbox, it would be bigger than this, wouldn't it? Okay, so they don't want us to take paper clips and measure. No, they don't want us to take real paper clips and measure this. They want us just to think about it. If they measure Cody's lunchbox and they said it's 10, 10 paper clips long, look at this pencil. Is this pencil, look at the size of this pencil. If I laid this pencil down underneath there, is it about the same size? Kind of, right? If I laid the pencil down, it would be, eh, let's say I can use my finger, right? Match it up. It's, it's about the same size. Do you think it might be a little, I think it might be a little shorter, don't you? 
right? So if this is a little shorter, do you think maybe it could be one more long? Could you think it could be one, one paper clip short of the bottom up here, right? Think about it. Yeah, so this, pa this pencil, right? We know that the number of paper clips is probably a little bit bigger than 10. What's a number that is just a tiny, tiny bit bigger than 10. So think, what comes after 10? Yeah, could be 11, right? So I would say it's about a, the pencil. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, I messed that up, boys and girls. We said the pencil is a little bit smaller. I messed that up. We said the lunchbox is 10, but the pencil is a little smaller than the lunchbox. Right? So what is a number smaller than 10? Like a tiny bit smaller than 10. So think, what's a number? What do you say right before 10? Nine. So the pencil is about nine paper clips. Now it's not exact, right? But we took what we know about the lunchbox and then we used it to help us think about the pencil. So it, we said it could be about nine paper clips long because the pencil is very close to the same size as the bottom of the lunchbox. But we look at it and we say, oh, it looks like it could be just a little bit smaller. That's why we said nine. All right, let's turn to the next page. All right, here's our math on the spot. So remember, you can watch this video. Lisa tried to measure the pencil. She thinks the pencil is about five paper clips long. About how long is the pencil? Okay, take a look at how they measured, how Lisa measured the pencil. Hmm, do you see something that might be wrong? Hopefully you said she didn't start at the start of the pencil, right? Look, remember when we're measuring an object, we have to think about where do we start and where do we stop? She didn't line it up at the beginning, did she? No. So if she scooted this paper clip over to the beginning, about how many paper clips long would it be? What do you think? Well, let's look. We know there's one, two, three here in the middle. And look, if I went like this. That's a half a paper clip and a half a paper clip. We took that paper clip and put it together. It would make a whole one, wouldn't it? So instead of it being one, two, three, four, five, it's not going to be five. Look what's in between. It's about four, about four paper clips. She needed to start at the beginning. This paper clip is all the way back here. We don't want it. We would need to just picture it. What if we scoot that up here, right? Then it would be one, two, three, four, and this one would be scooted out, four. All right, use the paper clips below. Write how long the, how long is the paint, about how long is the paintbrush? So look at our paintbrush. So now look at all those paper clips. But remember, we need a start line. And down here, we need a stop line, don't we? Where does it stop? Does it stop right here? No, right? Here's the end of the paintbrush, right? And whoop. So now, look, and sometimes I like to do this. Sometimes I like to sandwich it, right? The start and the stop. I can see how many paper clips go along the paintbrush. Do I count this paper clip right here? No, because this is outside, right? It's too far. It's past where my paintbrush is. This does not count out here, right? When I go like this, nope, that one's not in the middle. So let's see, how many do we have? One, two, three, four. So the paintbrush is about four paper clips long, right? So my first graders, when we're working, I want you to remember when you're measuring something, you have to think, where do I start? 
right? Line it up to the start point. Where do I stop? Okay, you're gonna do some practice measuring objects using paper clips.